So I just got a brand new 3800 series access point from Cisco. And this thing is a pretty beefy series X point, probably the best built X point I've ever seen from Cisco. And I wanted to start using this, but instead of using it with my controller, I wanted to test out a new feature that we have called Mobility Express. And what Mobility Express allows you to do is use one of the access points as a controller. So great for like a small office type solution where I don't have to actually put a dedicated controller there. And this AP can be both a controller and service clients at the same time. So I started playing around with it a little bit. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to convert a CapWAP access point to a Mobility Express access point. I, I got these and they were all CapWAP access points. So we gotta do a little bit of a conversion on here to convert it over to, to be a Mobility Express controller and have the other access points join it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. There's a little CLI involved in it, not a big deal. I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I found out how to do this and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is get the Mobility Express code for the access point. So I went to Cisco.com here. I searched for the 3800 series access point because that's the one I have. Obviously, you're going to search for the, whatever access point you have, 2800 series or maybe even 1800 series. Go in here. Um, I selected the latest version of code for Mobility Express. So that's 8.5 as of today. And when you click on that, you're going to see two releases here. The larger file size is if you're going to be upgrading from a pre-existing Mobility Express version, so maybe around version 8.3 of Mobility Express, and you're going 8.5. The smaller one is the one we actually want. This is the one that's used to convert from CapWAP to Mobility Express. So go ahead and, and download that file, toss that on your TFTP server, and uh, note the file name here, but do not change it. We don't want to change file names at all for, for this process here. So once you have it all downloaded and that's sent over your TFTP server, we're going to go into the actual access point here. And let me just exit out of this here so you guys can see it from the beginning. And what we're going to do first here is we're going to log into the access point. So if this is a brand new access point, the default name is Cisco, password is Cisco again, and then you're at your prompt here. Uh, do an enable and capital C Cisco to get you into enable mode. Now, when you first log in, you're probably going to see a ton of logging messages. So I shut those off. Just do a quick logging console disable, and that'll that'll shut off all the logging messages, or else you're going to get flooded with a ton of logging messages on these guys. Uh, once you do that, do a show version just to see what version of code you're on, and you'll find it here in a second. So you can see here I'm at 8.2, and that'll be important in a second here. Uh, you really want to be on 8.3 or higher to do this conversion process, and I'll tell you guys why. Uh, but I'm on 8.2, so we'll see why that matters in a minute. And when you're in here, the first thing that you have to do is set an IP address on your access point. So I'm going to go ahead here and do that. And now I've got an IP address on here. We'll do a show IP in brief just to make sure. And you can see the IP address of 10.0.0.101. Obviously, make sure your TFTP server is reachable now. You could try pinging it if you want. And you can see mine is, so we're good to go. So to do the actual conversion, it's a really simple command. Uh, it's one command, and you really and you just point it to your TFTP server with that file that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this command in real quick and I'll put these in the description so you guys can see it. So it's AP type, Mobility Express, TFTP server, and then the, the, the file that we downloaded. And we're gonna press enter and it should start pulling it off the TFTP server. All right, so here you can see that it Tried pulling the code, or actually it did pull the code. Then we get this error, no space left on device. The reason we're getting this error is not because there's no space on this device, it's because we were on that 8.2 version of code. So in order to fix that, what we actually have to do is go back to cisco.com. We need to update the CapWeb version of code first. I know this is kind of a pain to do, but you need to do it in order to get this to work. 
So you need to go to the latest version of code here, 15.3.3. This is actually 8.5 code here for CapWap. Download it. Again, don't change the name or anything. Put it to your TFTP server. And then go back here. And here's the trick that I actually used. So instead of transferring this via TFTP and you know doing it how we usually do to upgrade versions of code on, on Cisco iOS devices, you can actually use the same uh, command I found out and just toss it in here and the AP will kind of figure out what, what it's doing and get it converted over uh, to the latest version of code. So I'm going to go ahead there here and use the same command just with the new file name at the end of it this time. And you can see that ep3g3 uh, 153-3.jf.tar. And this is going to go upgrade the CapWeb code from version 8.2 to 8.5. All right, guys. So you might see this, this access point actually reboot twice while it's doing the upgrade process and everything. Uh, once it's finally done and everything, we'll log back into the access point. This is going to be Cisco, Cisco again. And shut off these console messages again before they drive us crazy. Enable... Cisco disable. There we go. Now do a quick show version. Just make sure that this thing actually did the upgrade. And now that we're in here, we see that this is running 8.5.103, so it's exactly what we wanted it to do. So now if I run my original command again, let me just copy this over. This time, we'll download the code, and hopefully we don't get that, that message where it says insufficient space. All right, guys, so then after that's all done, you'll, your AP will reboot and everything, and you'll be at a screen that looks like this, and it's asking you to like, terminate auto install. But you can see here that it is in Mobility Express mode at this point. Enable controller provisioning, enable management wire via wireless, enable provisioning SSID, and it's got all the information there. So that's as far as I'm going to take you guys in this video. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple more showing how to get the access points and everything set up and tied together. So thanks a lot, guys.